Salut à tous, my name is Marion Buricatu. I am a French artist and I lived here in the United States since 2001. This video is about art and how to impress your friends and family at the museum with three easy facts. Why is the Hudson River School of Painting so interesting? Well, merci for asking and the answer is very simple because these paintings are just beautiful, they are majestic and they are huge. So here are the three facts I'm going to talk about today. Fact number one, it's about the 19th century American landscape painters. Fact number two, it's about the vastness of the new frontier. And fact number three, it's about church and Bierstadt. So here is a painting by Sanford Robinson Gifford. It's called A Passing Storm in the Adirondacks. It was painted in 1866 and this painting is at the Wadsworth Athenaeum in Hartford, Connecticut. I am going to focus on three main museums today because they are local and they have wonderful, wonderful collection on these paintings and you can just go for a nice day trip to visit these museums. The first one is the Artvart Art Museum in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The second one is the Wadsworth Athenaeum in Hartford, Connecticut. And the third one is the Worcester Art Museum in Worcester. Okay, so fact number one, it's about 19th century American landscape painters. So these guys were a group of informal painters, landscape painters. They were from New York City and they started painting along the Hudson River Valley. Like for example, in the village of the Catskills. And it's really worth going there for a day trip. And uh, I have put below some few links so you can just visit and see and spend a nice day there. Also, what they did is that they went also to paint in the Adirondacks Mountains and also the White Mountains. The father of this movement was Thomas Cole. Uh, this is a view in the White Mountain by Thomas Cole, painting, painted in 1827. And this painting is at the Wadsworth Athenaeum in Hartford, Connecticut. Then there is a second generation of painter from this school. And this generation is from the second half of the 19th century. These guys, they painted New England, but they also venture into far-flung territories like the American West and South America. Now, fact number two. It's about the vastness of the new frontier. And this is their mission statement. For example, here is a painting by Thomas Moran called Mountain of the Holy Cross in Colorado. As you can see on this painting, it has multiple focal points. Your eyes keep going everywhere. Because in fact, why, why, why is that? It's because the landscape is magnificent. The landscape is grandiose. You are in awe and this is a gift of God because these painters have a deep connection to spirituality, okay? So here is a painting called A Ledge on South Mountain in the Catskills by Sanford Gifford, painted in 1862, and this painting is at the Harvard Art Museum. There is one more thing to say about um, their, their mission statement is that they, painting, they painted during the 19th Romantic period and this period is really important because it was a reflection about the country industrial transformation. The East Coast was really changing and then they would go and they would discover the West of America and discover this beautiful landscape. And here is a question they kept on asking. Are human beings coexisting peacefully with nature? Hence the spirituality of their paintings. Now, fact number three, Church and Bierstadt. So these are the two main painters that really I think are important uh, in this group. But in fact, I looked in Wikipedia and there are 24 painters. So you see, you, there's much more painters of this, uh, this school. They had a style and the style was called Luminism. I repeat, Luminism. 
it's an emphasis on the effect of light, exactly like the Impressionism that was happening in France kind of at the same time. But there are two big differences. The first difference is that Luminism really has a lot of attention to detail and also they are hiding their brush strokes, which is not the case with uh, Impressionism. So here are the two main painters, Frédéric, Edwin Church, and this is a painting from 1846 and it is at the Wadsworth Athenaeum in Hartford, Connecticut. It's one, this museum has one of the largest collection of paintings by the artist of the Hudson River School. It's a nice day trip and I can't wait to go. The second painter is Albert Birstadt and he, this is a painting that he did, it's called Yosemite, Yosemite, Yosemite Fall, and this painting is at the Worcester Art Museum. He was born in Germany, but he grew up in the US. So, here are the three facts. Easy to remember about the school, the Hudson School of Painting. Fact number one, it's about 19th century American landscape painters. Fact number two, it's about the vastness of the new frontier. And fact number three, it's about Church and Bierstadt. Now, if you want to have fun or just impress your friends even more at the museum or at the next dinner table, the next video is just for you because I have created seven trivia questions. Nice chatting with you. Abonne-toi, which means subscribe to my channel. Have fun and see you at the next video.